Welcome to Cisco Modeling Labs. My name is Craig Brown, Technical Marketing Engineer at Cisco. The agenda is to take two routers and connect them to a layer two switch. We'll then confirm connectivity. We'll then take an additional two routers to create a two VLAN situation, one using the defaults and the second using a user-defined VLAN. And again, we'll confirm the connectivity of that as well. We'll begin by creating a new project folder. For this folder, we're going to name it Layer 2 Topologies. We then create a new topology. We select it to be put underneath the Layer 2 Topology folder that we created. In this example, we're calling it Simple Config. And then we're going to get two routers and a switch as well. So I'll just minimize that. Okay, so there's our switch, and then the two routers. And then I'll just connect them up. And so the idea of the configuration is to use the defaults. So these are the default settings that you get when you use the iOS uh, layer two switch. By default, it comes up as VLAN two, and with nothing set, it'll be the default. The way that I bring this up is I select on the interface and then I look at the auto net kit option and under that you'll see a VLAN. So without changing any of the parameters we'll go in and we'll rebuild the or build the configuration using the auto net kit option and then we'll start the simulation. So once the simulation starts, what we can do then do is to turn it onto the switch. So we're going onto the console port. And we're also bringing up the routers as well. So we'll turn it to each of the two routers. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check the IP addresses on each of the routers, just so I know that I'm pinging the right address. So I'm just using a show IP interface brief. And I'm gonna ping gigabit ethernet 01. That's the 10 0 uh, 0.6 address and that all works correctly so if I look at the switch I want to just have a look at the VLAN as well so the show VLAN command shows that we have a VLAN 002 or VLAN 2 and you can see the ports connected to that is gigabit 01 and gigabit 02 so very simple straightforward configuration so let's close all this up and then we'll add the extra two routers to create a four router configuration. We'll just stop the simulation first. So with the extra two routers, we now have four routers, we'll connect them together. But the intention here is we want to create two different VLANs. So we're going to create another VLAN. We connect on the interface, we connect an auto net kit, and we put in the VLAN ID. So for the other router, same thing, click on the interface, Auto Net Kit, and then the VLAN ID. And so for these routers, I'm creating VLAN 20 for routers three and four. For routers one and two, they're still set the same. So we use ANK or Auto Net Kit, and we rebuild that. We'll build the configuration out with the new configuration. And then we start up the simulation. So what we'll do now, everything starts, is we'll tell it um, onto the switch. And what we're going to be able to see is as the switch starts up, it's going to create the VLAN 2 and the VLAN 20. So you can see all the message in there, there's 2, and then there's 20 as well. And so then once the router starts, we'll do a show VLAN, and just confirm we have those two VLANs created. And you can see we have a VLAN 2 and a VLAN 20. So what we'll do now is we'll go to the routers. And so when we look at the routers, we are going to uh, look at router 3 and router 2, which are on different VLANs. So the intention here is to prove that um, the two different routers can't reach each other. So if we have a look at the IP addresses on router three and router two, just to make sure that we're pinging the right IP addresses. So I'll do a show IP interface brief. 
and the same for the other router. And then when I do a ping of 10.0.0.3, um, even though they look like they're in the same subnet, they're on different VLANs, so the ping should fail. That's what we're expecting to happen. Which it is. So what we want to do is have a look at the picture again. And this time what we're going to do is we're going to go from router 2 to router 1, because we know that when we configure the uh, devices, we set up router 2 and router 1 on the same VLAN. So if we open up the Telnet window to router 1, and then do a show IP interface uh, on, on that interface. We can see 10.0.0.1, so if we ping that, we can see that works. So in this video, what we've seen is a very simple default configuration, as well as setting up additional VLANs. So this concludes the presentation. My name is Craig Brown, and thank you for listening.